later, but how you wish that they mm-hmm. could learn our lessons, right? Yes. Because we've been through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, do you think that um, your experiences in Wuhan have already changed you? This is your first major mm-hmm. public emergency coverage. Mm-hmm. Has it changed you? Yes. In what way? I have to say, I cherish my life more. And I feel like I love my parents and friends more. I think I used to take so many things for granted, but now I'm so glad and grateful that people I care about, they're healthy and happy. And also, I think I become a girl who's even more brave than ever because I feel like even though something is dangerous, as long as I tried my best, I can conquer that. Wang Yu said her experience in Wuhan was an unprecedented opportunity for her to learn and grow both professionally and personally. It has made her a braver, stronger, and more confident person. When asked whether she regretted any of her decisions, Hong Yu said if she was given a second chance, she would visit the city's hardest to hit district so she could work shoulder to shoulder with the community workers striving to help the city's residents in the thick of the coronavirus outbreak. And that brings us to the end of our show. I'm Man Ling. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to visit chinaplus.cri.cn and look for Encounters, where you can listen to other episodes of the show and read the reflections that accompany each interview, which you will find under Man Ling's journals. Bye for now. Monte Zuma's Revenge. All languages contain unique idioms that don't translate well. For the next half hour, we will take a couple of catchy English phrases and match them with their closest Chinese equivalents. If you don't have a radio handy, you can catch us online on our WeChat account at So sit back and enjoy some coffee on Language Cafe. You're listening to Language Cafe. I am Byron. I am Manling. And the first one today is pie in the sky. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. So let's get a pie in the sky. Now who's talking about pie in the sky ideas? I can think of one person, Uh Donald Trump. Oh, you're obsessed with him. No, but think about it. His promises, if he's elected, are really pie in the sky. Hey. If you listen to me, we're going to be winning, winning, winning. We're going to be tired of winning. We're going to be tired of winning. Uh uh uh. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be a beautiful wall. And you're going to get a bonus. You know, every individual in America is going to have money without working. How about that? Are these realistic? <laughs> pie in the sky? A bit pie in the sky, yes. We do have similar expressions in Chinese. I'm going to tell you later. Yes. But definitely it's not realistic enough, right? Mm-hmm, definitely. A- em- empty promises, you mean? Uh, uh-uh. Not empty promises, just a bit it's a true unrealistic, pie? unrealistic. Okay, maybe more examples? Turning the war-torn poor country into a country capable of hosting the Olympics is pie in the sky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Again, please. A country that's going through war, and uh, they, they want to host the Olympics. What but about it's the, a bit pie in the sky. What about the Afghanistan? The they, Iraq? Um, yeah, Uh-oh. these countries aren't really thinking about it. Do you think Brazil have a problem? Um, with Brazil Zika, has a problem. With Zika? Yeah. They're a bit it's, unorganized, but the thing is, it's not new to them. They hosted the Olympics before, and they were fine. Yeah. yeah. And it's not really pie in the sky. They can do it, right? They could definitely do it. So pie in the sky means something you cannot do, you cannot deliver? It's something unrealistic. It's unrealistic. just a hope that you want. Beyond your ability? Mm-hmm. Is that so? 
Yes. We can to deliver something, but not up to standard. You mean? No, it's not that. It's、uh, you want something, and it's probably not going to happen. But you should always aim for it. Because think about it, if you reach for the stars, you'll end up on the moon at least. <laughs> no, think about it. No harm for aiming high, right? Yeah. There is a slogan: If you aim high, you reach high, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. If you reach for the stars, you end up on the moon. <laughs> okay. Which is still pretty high. <laughs> anyway,、uh, we teach young people、mm-hmm. to aim high, right? Yes. And a famous saying by Napoleon. I cannot actually recite the original sentence, but something like that: that if a soldier does not want to be a general,、yeah. then he's not a real soldier. Something、mm, similar like、sure. that. So you have to have have ambition, right? Yeah. You have to be ambitious. But does it have anything to do with the pie in the sky? Because pie is food, right? Yeah. So the expression was first recorded in 1911 in a rallying song of a union. The International Workers of the World, or the Wobblers, and they said, "Work and pray, live on hay. You'll get a pie in the sky when you die." Huh? This is being optimistic or pessimistic? They're being a bit, they're being sarcastic. I know. Work and pray, live on hay. You will get pie in the sky when you die. So you're only getting the rewards. Well, when you die. <laughs> But we are talking about Chinese people always want to buy property. Ah,、there's、me a, too. Yeah, there's a comparison. Yeah. It's kind of a false assumption. Okay, an American grandma, granny. Yeah. American granny and Chinese granny, and the two actually met in heaven after、yeah. they passed away.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, American granny said. I haven't paid my debt yet. Okay. But I've been living in a house, a mansion, all my life. Uh huh. Yes. And then the Chinese granny said, "Before I came to heaven, I paid. You know, I bought actually with my savings the mansion.、Huh. I paid off all my debt.、Hmm. Finally, I owned them. But I have only the last few days to enjoy it. To enjoy it. So、oh. that's. The pie in the sky. Which one is having the pie in the sky? You tell me. I think the white woman got to enjoy it. <laughs> But for a Chinese granny, owing somebody else money is a torture. It's torture. Yeah, it's yeah. torture for it's me. It's like as well. living hell, you、mm-hmm. know. So we cannot actually adopt other people's lifestyle or values. Yes. The Chinese、mm-hmm. granny. Will feel happy by saving, 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 saving. That's what makes her comfortable. Yeah, she's comfortable in her own shoes, you know. And then finally, she's so happy. She died a happy lady. Mm-hmm. She said, "Oh, finally, the financial burden is off my, you know, heart." Yeah. Well, whereas maybe yeah. the um the other granny, her kids had to deal with the debt. Yeah, was that better? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. We're so different, huh? So it's a pie in the sky, right?、Mm-hmm. But pie in the sky, asking my pie in the sky. I think the the thing I want most in my life is peace of mind. Mm-hmm. That's a very easily attainable thing. I don't I think. think so. Okay. Talk to people who suffer from depression. Okay. How can they get the peace of mind thing?、Mm. It's the most difficult, unattainable goal. Um, especially in modern society, yeah, you have、uh, so many outside temptations, attractions, everything to break the peace of mind,、mm. and it's very difficult. You're being affected on daily basis. Somebody is shooting the bear. I want to do it too. Maybe you should move to Bhutan. And like、uh, you said,、um, Maling,、uh, I have earned four thousand bucks just now by reading only two pieces of ads. I said, Hey, Baron, I want to do it too. So all these kind of temptations, don't don't you think? It's、mm-hmm. so hard for me to get the peace of mind. Yes. And that's pie in the sky. Yep, it is. Unrealistic. Unrealistic. Etymology. Oh, I told you it's from the International Workers Union. Nineteen nineteen eleven. Yeah. Wow. Mhm. Do you think we have a Chinese expression? Xian Shang the Jian Bing. From Xia Bing. Xia Bing. But anyway, I think of another thing because the very first sentence you gave us. What is that? It's about Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's talking about things that are so unrealistic; they're kind of stupid.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then in Chinese. We have a very vivid 
similar expression. Which is what? Hua bing chong ji. Hua bing chong ji. Mm. Mm. I'm hungry, I'm poor, I have no box, no money, I have no flour to make, pancakes or whatever. Yeah. And I have only one piece of paper mm -hmm. and a pen. Mm. I started to draw pie. Oh. Ha ha. And yeah. then I said, oh, this is what I'm going to have. After two days, maybe, mm -hmm. my uncle, who has been shooting bears, yep. he will come in and give me some bear sort of meat. I'm no <laughs> Your mouth is watering, right? Yeah. <laughs> 这个就是 we, we have a proverb, idiom, yeah. okay. Chinese idiom, which says 画饼充饥 You don't have anything, but you can draw something. Okay. Mm, yeah. Are you good at drawing pictures? I can draw a really tasty pie. Yeah, you don't mm -hmm. have to go out and earn your living. Mm -hmm. You just use your pen, draw nice, savvy dishes. Okay. You know, meat, shrimp, everything. And then if you're really you'll be full. Yeah. It's but, like a, it's like a cult. But yeah, but if you're really really good at drawing pictures, you can sell them for money. Mm hmm. You can, you know, feed yourself by drawing, right? I think. But our Chinese word is called 画饼充饥。画饼充饥。或者呢，这个跟饼有关系的 another way of um having it 就是天上掉馅儿饼。天上掉馅儿饼。天上掉馅儿饼就是不太可能的事情。<coughs> Impossible. It's like a cloudy with a chance of meatballs. The yeah, movie. yeah, and it's like a pie in the sky. It's unreachable. It's not going to happen to you. 比如说，我会说 ，Baron， 我明天工资要翻三番呢。Three double triple of my income tomorrow, starting from tomorrow. Oh, sweet. We're going to get a triple or double sort of income. Ooh, ooh. I said, hoo hoo, and then Baron said, hey hey, that's a pie in the sky. Yeah. That means. Morning. 天上掉馅儿饼了。那是天上掉馅儿饼啊！对，那个是嗯，情况不能发生的。对的，那是天上掉馅儿饼，想得美呀、啊！嗯哼，有一个短语叫“想得美”。想得美。想得美 ，you know. You're making us look pretty. Yeah, but it's not going to happen. So three expressions. One is 画饼充饥 It's something that you never can reach, but you pretend. Like Donald Trump is promising you false things, you know something. This is giving you 画饼充饥 Hey 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 hey, 面包会有的 Have you ever heard of this? You have bread. Yeah, in difficult times, some sort of government will try to appease their citizens. Yeah. For example, the country is in famine. Yeah. And then there were、uh, there were mobs、mm -hmm. who's going to turn. Or top up the government. Okay. You know, if you don't provide us any food anymore, you're going to we're going to topple you down, right? And then the、uh, the president came out and said, "Don't worry, don't worry, we're going to have bread soon." Okay. So this is pie in the sky. Yes. 对不对？面包会有的。So today we learned a lot of expressions, and、uh, one of them is 面包会有的 But when? 什么时候有面包啊 You know you can ask that, right? Yep. So if it's no longer pie in the sky, what do you say? Uh, 是天上掉馅饼呢。天上掉馅饼。天上不会掉馅饼呀。Okay. It rain cats and dogs. Okay. 我们是住在真的世界。对。这个事情不会发生。这个事情不会发生。So examples, for example, um, she blames others. There are such people. She blames others for all her troubles. Yeah. And she's expecting some pie in the sky to change her life. It's like I've been, um, you know, I have a bad fate. Okay, so he 所有的问题都怪别人，就往天上掉馅儿饼来改变生活。对他，他所有的问题他都会怪别人，然后呢，他指望天上掉馅儿饼来改变生活，他自己不去努力。是的，他应该。改变自己，改变努力，改变。It's like that. That's like, a song. Home,、huh? yeah. Oh yeah. 改变世界，改变努力。哇，需要努力，努力。Something else. 那我觉得他就应该画馅饼了，哈，画饼充饥 ，right？ 即使画饼充饥 ，just now I said, you don't blame others for your problems. Yeah. And you draw pies to feed yourself. Sometimes, if you're really good at drawing pictures, you can feed yourself again,、mm -hmm. right? So, 这里是 OK. 不要指望天上掉馅饼。
Okay? And the second um, example I can think of is when the husband discovered that his wife was a good cook, he thought to himself, lucky, and this is pie in the sky for him. Can I use it that way? Yeah. Okay,丈夫发现职业女性的妻子做菜是非常好吃 这个天上叫下饼就是得来全部费功夫。Sometimes天上叫下饼 yeah. is a neutral expression. In this case, we are using it, the pie in the sky, not in a negative way. Yeah. But it's something you get effortlessly. Mm. It's a bonus. Yep. 我没想到Byron嗓子声音特别好听。同时他还很幽默。Being okay. mm-hmm. humorous is a pie in the sky mm-hmm. I get mm-hmm. from Byron. Mm. Thank you for being my co-host. This is Language Cafe. Wow. All right, the-